Good morning, it is Sunday today and I'm going to be meeting my friend from high school in Williamsburg at around 3. It's currently 12 right now and I'm also going to go buy some art materials and a canvas and books and then probably go to the market next door to eat ramen for lunch. Yesterday I went to Innisfree with Vicky and I bought a moisturizing cream because I'm out of my favorite Kiehl's moisturizer and I want to see if this one is better than the Kiehl's one and this one is called Moisture Volumize and cream with lava seawater. I like the color. I'm heading out right now and I exchanged my normal earrings for these earrings. These were gifted to me by Vicky for Christmas and I really like them because they make this little like noise every time I move. I am in Williamsburg right now and it's a really sunny day. There's a lot of dogs and a lot of people outside. And now I just need to find where Hoyon is so I'm gonna text her. Welcome in babe. At 30% of Dory and then buy one get one free for Christmas. Hello. Oh, this is Hoyon. <laughs> oh, these are kind of cute. I'm in this super cute jewelry shop right now and they have a sale, so how can I resist? We are heading to A-Land right now. It's just right down the street. And we were struggling. We kept getting lost. I swear yeah. I live here. These t-shirts are nice. They're so cool. They're really yeah. Oh my god, this one talks. Mm. Yes, this music. Oh wait, I like this one. It's like a cake with ice cream and like frogs. I'll see you in the vlog. Bye bye, tell me when you get back. I just got back from scanning everything and I'm gonna edit them on Photoshop right now and I have a fabric appointment at 4, 4 to 5. I'm so tired, I am so drained from the weekend. I guess it's because I'm kind of introvert, but I just get drained when I hang out with too much people and I go out for too long, but I still want to go out for too long, so... <laughs> I think that I'm done with everything now and it's ready to be printed! Fantastic day. I love seeing my files being corrupted right before I need to get them printed. I'm just so frustrated about my homework because I spent 
quite a long time editing it and then now it's just corrupted so I had to make another fabric appointment on Wednesday which kind of messes around my schedule because I was gonna have plans on Wednesday but I know that I should try to finish editing my vlog by tonight I have tomorrow free so I'm gonna be going with Michaela to a cafe redo everything for my design homework basically and hopefully this time my flowers won't get corrupted Good morning, it's currently 11 in the morning and I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. This is my outfit of the day in Vicky's room. I am wearing the solo sweater. It's my favorite yellow sweater. This is actually a jumpsuit <laughs> and the pants are heckin baggy and I have my Doc Martin platforms on. Really? I am with Michaela. And we are going to the cafe that I was talking about in the morning. We're waiting for the train right now. We just missed it. I have created a makeshift bed table out of all my blankets for my laptop and I am almost done editing the video. I was supposed to finish yesterday but I got too lazy. I just wrote my schedule for tomorrow and this helps me focus on where I need to be at a certain time. I finished two sketches, but I'm feeling the allergies coming on, so I'm probably gonna leave soon.
they don't have the sausage I want, so we're just gonna take this one. All right, this is how I cook in my dorm. I have a rice cooker. I'm not supposed to have it, but I'm Asian and I need rice. Okay, so basically, this is like a version of Shanghai rice, but it's not right because I don't have the correct sausage. Um, yeah. I already have my rice in here, the amount of rice I need, and I put in the bok choy, chopped up bok choy and chopped up sausages. And now I'm just gonna put in some sesame oil and some soy sauce and then put in the rice cooker to cook. Mm. Ta-da! And then you just mix it and you can add in more like soy sauce if you want. Oops, I think I put too much water, but it's all good. <laughs> Added in some more soy sauce and it is perfect now. Just got my print. Let's see how it turned out. So this is what it looks like right now. I think I'm gonna have to trim the top a bit, but I'll do that later. Right now, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm not gonna film a video today because I have too much stuff going on. But after my break, I'm gonna head to Books to buy a few supplies for this fabric. And then I'm gonna go to Urban Outfitters to buy Gemma's birthday gift because today is her birthday. <laughs> April, Vicky and I got her a Polaroid and this is the card that we got for her because she's always talking about her food baby. April said, happy birthday, oh Gemma. Hope your diet goes well this year so you can use this Polaroid more often. We're just kidding. Ah. Wait, that's me. Hey, I'm not that old. You guys are young. <laughs> it is Gemma's 20th birthday, and we're Yay. all gonna go to get KBBQ right now, even though we have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> we're not gonna sleep. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gemma. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Today is Thursday and I'm not having the best day. I think I overworked myself a bit the past few days because I was so tired today. I slept at 3 I think after finishing up my project which I'll talk about later. Normally sleeping at 3 and waking up at 8 is okay for me. I'm not gonna feel that tired but I woke up so sore and so tired but i still went to class obviously because i spent so long on that project but during lunch i took a nap 
and I basically woke up after my whole afternoon portion of the studio was over so I didn't go to the afternoon portion prior to taking a nap I was like I'm just gonna nap a bit and I'm gonna feel so much better when I w wake up but after I woke up I felt so much worse than I did before I went to nap but yeah after I woke up from my nap I went to my second class of today and then I got to leave early which is good because I came back and cleaned up my room but now I'm just gonna chill a bit and then I'm gonna start on Michelle's painting I just primed the canvas here and I'm gonna wait for it to dry before starting to paint I'm actually not sure what I'm painting I asked her what she wanted and she, she said that she liked fresh bright colors abstract faces, beaches so I'll probably get something out similar to that so my mom has this precious sofa this yellow sofa of hers so she doesn't like it when my dog's on it but look at, look at my little boy and then she said, my sofa. <laughs> this is slightly dangerous painting on my bed, but I have all my paints and water on the towel just in case anything happens because I'm really clumsy.
Last night, you guys saw me painting this piece, and it is currently a work in progress, and I'm gonna try finish it after I come back from Providence this weekend. So before I leave for class, I'm gonna talk about this piece for a second. You guys saw me doing this in my last vlog too, so I thought that I should probably talk about what's going on. Basically, this is a project for my LCD light color and design class, and the prompt was to create a 12 shell narrative, so like 12 boxes of things. I took it a bit further I guess because most people just did like little storylines and books and stuff but as you guys saw I was doing this with watercolor and pencil and then I put it together but I didn't really like how it turned out so I decided to fabric print it and I printed it on this really thin kind of see-through fabric and then I added like red accents throughout this and I also have my name embroidered in Chinese down here because my English name was too long so I was like I'm just gonna go with my Chinese name and for my story it's titled Intimacy and I chose to talk about being lonely and kind of based on interpretation because throughout this piece it's like images of how you would feel if you were really lonely because everyone experiences different levels of loneliness at some point in their lives and I was an only child so obviously I didn't really have anyone to play with so I would always entertain myself I guess like ever since I was little I was a bit lonely throughout high school I had a lot of friends so I honestly didn't really feel lonely because I liked having like me time too but when I entered college it was so different and I didn't really have any I have my friends here, I love them, but like I'm always by myself and sometimes I do feel kind of lonely like in the beginning of the year I felt really lonely but now I've come to appreciate being lonely because I found out that I really really like having time by myself so this is just how I interpreted loneliness and I really like the title it's called as I said before intimacy and it's like being intimate with yourself not in the sexual way but yes to be honest I don't really I'm not too proud of this piece because I feel like I could have organized it in a better way, but it's done now, so... <sighs> Going to bring a suitcase with me to make my life a bit easier. My outfit for the day. I'm gonna be going to Penn Station now. See you there.